and Cindy Otter here. Um, I was I had this idea in my head, and I'm gonna try something. This is for resin. Um, I have both A and B here. I haven't mixed them yet. And for my anniversary, I re received some um, roses. Well, I went away for about a week, and when I come home, they aren't. They didn't rot. They just kind of dried out. So my thought is. I want to take like this rose, I want to put it down into here very nicely, which right now it's not nicely, and maybe put a couple of the baby's breath around it and then I want to fill it with resin and see what happens. No idea if this is going to work, I haven't tried it before, um, I do have a little bit of glitter here as well, but you know, you don't know until you try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one first. Um, the other roses are about this size, so I'm just going to leave those, but I want to experiment. I want to try it with this one first, and let's see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course this is going to be a, you know, I'll have to hold on to this video until um, I get it. What? I can't lose it. I've lost my words. Um, until I get it hardened and see what happens. Like I said, I have no idea. I think these are going to go in afterward. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know. Let's try. Let's see what happens. Just going to take off a couple more baby's breath and see what we need. So there's the baby's breath. Here's the rose. I got a little bit of glitter. I have these extra because I have a big feeling I'm going to have lots of extra um, resin so I may just sprinkle and fill those up. So the first thing I was going to do is I'm going to mix some in here. So let me do this. Let's see, I know I have, let me, where's my Sharpie? I need this. I have six of each. Um, Like I said, this is just something to try. I want to see what it does. So I just want to make sure I kind of have the same of each. So let's get pouring. Of course, one is thicker than the other. Let's, all right, let's stop right there. Yes, I know that's going to get hard, but that's okay. We're playing. I'm going to set it over here because I have a tray over here that because I really don't want resin on my desk like I already got it. So we're going to see what happens. Let's stir this up. My thought is um, I want to get a little bit of resin on the bottom. Then I want to put a little bit of glitter in. And then I want to immerse the, um, the rose. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not looking up. I'm just mixing these. Hope I have the right combo. It looks right. We're going to be adding more on top. Like I said, this could be a disaster. This could work out fabulous. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Where are we on our... Uh, I need a little bit more of this in here. Because they are not even. No, they are. Okay. So I'm going to stir this up until it gets rid of that cloudy look. And then like I said, I'm going to put just a little bit um, in the bottom of this mold and see what happens. There's the other one right there. Okay. So this is the longest part of stirring it and waiting once it dries, you know got to stir it up and get it really mixed up and really you want you're really looking for kind of crystal clear that's what I look for I try not to put a whole ton of bubbles in it but you know sometimes you just gotta all right that's looking almost clear it's got a lot of bubbles in it but I'm not worried about that I think that actually would be kind of cool in here so what I'm gonna do I'm going to put a little bit of resin in here. Sorry for my hand shaking. Alright, so we got a little bit of resin, resin in the bottom. Put that over there. The 
this over here. Now I want to dip just a tiny bit of glitter. Just a teeny tiny. Does that look like teeny tiny? I don't think so, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to put a nice layer on And then what we're going to do is hopefully when I put in, I want to put in a little bit more resin. Actually, I'm going to put in what I got left here. Like I said, I don't know if this is just going to destroy this rose or... I have no idea. I'm just playing around, see what I can do. Let's drop the glitter a little bit. Yes. Make sure we get glitter everywhere. Now let's go ahead and put in the rose. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep all of this. But I will try to keep some. So I want to keep my rose petals together. I'm just going to slowly push it down in to the resin. Now see, I don't need a lot of resin. It's actually taken up quite a bit of the red, of the rose. I'm trying to get like inside the petals and that kind of stuff. All right, now let's make some more resin to um, fill it up. See if I've got these pretty well even. I do. Oh, you know what else I want to do? I want to add some of this baby's breath in here. So, can I do that? You know, I probably could have looked up a video. Oh, how do you do this? I don't know. I just want to try it and see what happens. Honey, I'll be there in a minute. So, just we're going to throw in some baby's breath. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but we're putting some down in there. One down in. Not worried about the stems. This is going to be the bottom. And actually, I think this whole thing will work. Let's just put this down in here too. Come on, get down in there. A little bit of baby breath around it. Oop! Two popped out. All right, you're gonna go here. So let's stir this one up. If I'm boring you, go on to the next video. <laughs> I'm just having fun. I'm puttering, I'm trying things. Why not? It doesn't hurt, does it? I don't think so. Just a little bit of glitter. I don't want a whole lot on this one. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what this does. And I do have some leftover um, resin. I know I will. So I may do some baby breath in these. Um, not really sure. Maybe. Come on. I want to see it clear. Not quite. Those are just about even, so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's try it. We're just going to pour it over. Our rose. Try to keep it in the mold. Oops, there it is. I'm dripping resin on my mat. I don't want that to stay there, so we're going to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I know, in the middle of a project, but that's okay. Alright, so let's keep drawing, keep doing this. Until it all goes down in and I fill up this mold flat. At least that's what I'm hoping to do. Go a bit over here. Let's see what this does here. Alright, let's 
see how how flat that is. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. Actually, the right left in here. I'm gonna put in. So, there's still some of this coming up out. How am I going to get this down in there? Too bad I didn't have like a big silver coin or something I could put on here to keep it down in. I like it. I hope it looks really well. Alright, so I am going to put a little bit more in that, but i got to mix some more up first. Oh, another drop of resin. Probably should have been doing this on the tray, huh? Probably should have, but I didn't. Okay, so let's finish this up. I'm just going to pour them both into each other. You guys can see what I'm doing over here. I'm just pouring them both in together. It's not going to hurt these little things. I, I um, got these from a friend. She wasn't thrilled with using them, so I was like, oh, "I'll try, see how they, you know, work." And because it's resin and because it's like a mold. I don't know if that's a hair or not. So let's uh, stir this up. I don't know if it's going to work well or not. We'll find out. She wasn't thrilled with them. Come on. I want to put more on top of this. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's... You see the edge? Yeah, that's not resin. This is probably going to take a while to dry, I would imagine. Me and my glitter. I love glitter. I love glitter that doesn't come off. Alright, so let's make sure this is... Mm, I think that was pretty good. Alright, let's try it. Yep, it's going good. Now what's the worst thing that's going to happen is I'll overfill this and it'll all come down the sides. Then it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out of this mold. But right now it's going to be very, very full. Alright, that's it. That's all I'm putting in. So now I'm going to go ahead and set this mold over here. I'm going to set it right here on this tray. Um, this tray, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, I've already done a bunch of resin stuff on it. That one's clean. That one's clean. But I've got a bunch of resin stuff on it. Someday I'm going to resin the whole tray, but for now it's just going to be the molds. All right, let me take some more of this baby breath. And again, this I'm just using. Uh, do I have enough? No, I don't have enough for that one. Let's take this one. I'm just going to put some baby breath in it. Oh, get in there. I think it'll be just kind of cool to go with the rose. If it works. Hey, babe. Look what I just did with that rose. Stuck it all down in there waiting for it to... How are you going to get it out? It's a mold. It'll come out. Tell me you got four panels. Hang on a second, guys. About that. Um, I did put some um, baby's breath in this one. Get the bubbles up out. That's a good idea. I need to do that on this other one. See if I have any bubbles in it. I think if I do, they're all in there somewhere. All right. I do have a little bit more, so I'm just going to do this little cube with baby's breath. And again, this just dried out. I guess these are now my resin scissors. I just want some of the little white 
little white ones. If this works, I might try to do this with some of my other flowers, like outside flowers. I think it'd be kind of cool. Come on, get in there. Again, I'm just throwing stuff in here, little buds, and you know, if they don't come out good, so we chuck them. You know, if they come out great, fabulous. I have no idea. We'll find out though, won't we? Yeah, Hubs was putting up um, curtains for me. Blackout curtains. I have a hard time sleeping, so hopefully they'll help. We'll see what happens. Alright, do we have a couple more? Hope this video is not too long. It's funny, I'm sitting here with the camera on, but I talk like this to myself all the time, so. <laughs> That's enough of that. Again, I've got... Get down in there. Oh, that one just doesn't want to go in. All right. Perfect. Um, I also have some glitter in this one, just kind of so they'll all match. I'm going to bring it over here. i got to clean off my desk. I still have a little bit more resin left, but that's okay. straight. <gasps> Enough. Get out the bubbles. There was a big bubble. So we'll fill it on up. Sorry, I know this is off screen. Well, maybe it's not. Just get rid of the bubbles. Same here. Okay, so there they are. Um, we're going to let them set. And then I will come back and let you know how well they, or how bad they did. All right, guys, I'll be back. Let me just take this glove off. And I'll take this one off as well. All right. And we'll see you in a bit. All right. So here we go. This is my little resin project here. Um, I started to try to take them out on camera. And there were a lot of little words that were said because <laughs> these were not easy to get out of these molds. Um, and I don't think it was, it wasn't because I didn't put anything to release them. They actually released, but it just took a lot of strength and it took my husband and I both um, to get them out of the molds. So I want to show you what we got. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. Hold on. All right, so this is um, the ones that I put baby breath in. Now, if you notice, they're actually really cool and they can stand on their own. I just think they're really neat and they're a complement to the rose. Now, what happened with the rose, because I didn't have something sitting on it to push it down in, look what I have. I have this, right? All right, so here's the rose. I think it looks kind of cool. just the rose and remember it's not going to be really red because this was just a dried rose which I thought was really cool um, it does have the glitter in it that I'm sure you can see but yeah here it is I think it's kind of cool so the problem with this one is it will not stand upright right because I have that stuff down below um, it is hard as a rock it has one of my puppy hair on it puppy hairs on it um, sorry about that but Where's my hair? I think my hair got stuck in the resin. Oh well. So this won't stand up. So what I need to do is I need to make a base for this. So what I've decided, I'm going to bring you back out. So don't get seasick. What I have decided is I have these that I use in my um, shed with my stained glass. So I was thinking, I'm going to stick around there. I was thinking maybe I could take some of these and actually build a bottom for this so that it would stand up. I'm thinking about making just a flat, you know, a flat bottom like this. 
um, something that they can all, let me see if it'll sit on them. Hold on. This is just the thought. We're in the thinking process right now. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, so we're going to have to figure it out. Maybe I just need the four corners. Uh, that'll work, but not really. Unless I put two here. Hmm, two here, because this side is a lot higher. So, what I need to do, I can't believe I must have got a hair in there when I put the resin in. Oh well, I'll get it out in a second. Ew, that hurts part of the thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to figure out how to do a base for this. Yeah, I'm sure there's other ways I could do it. I'm sure I could put it in, you know, something and and have it set. But I really would like it to set. So it's kind of like a little three-piece. And it can either set on a desk or on a shelf or whatever. These, um, they have the really tight, the little things on them. But because they have those on there, they sit perfect. Same with this one. This one sits perfect. So this one is the one that I have the issue with that we've got to try to figure out. So give me a minute, and as soon as I figure it out, I'll bring you guys back in, and we'll play around and see if we can get this to sit down. All right, chat in a minute. All right, so I just spent the last half hour sitting here trying to get this <laughs> cut enough. All right, where'd they go? Um, using these shears, scissors, I've been trying to get the stuff off that is high on this bottom and I can do it I mean I can take quite a bit of it off I had a pretty good pile here but it's still not gonna make it um, flat for me so I'm gonna try something I don't know if it's gonna work you know you only know if you try but this is that glue that I was telling you about that ultimate glue and what I want to do just, there's the lowest corner I want to see if, this stuff dries clear, so, if I put enough of this on here, if these will stick. Now one thing I have to remember is I've got to have them all even, because if I don't, then it's not worth doing. So. Well, how I'll know is by how they sit. So we're going to try this and see what happens. Um, two things could happen. One, doesn't work. Or two, it works. Alright, see I've got... Hmm, I might have to do something like this. And just do them on the four corners so that they'll sit up there. This stuff doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry, so we may get it figured out sooner rather than later. But, you know, I'll try anything once. Let's see if it works. So I have to make sure they're even. And I also have to make sure that they're far enough down so that they cover that little bot, bot, bleh, that little stuff there on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way around if I can. Actually, I'll do the first three sides and see what happens. All right, so let me do this, and I'll be back and let you know if it worked or not. All right. Well, I have them glued on. Um, is this going to work? I have no idea. I know it's been difficult because they like to slide down, so I kind of shot them with the heat gun a little bit. See, this one keeps sliding down on me. And if I can see straight across, I'm good. So I'm just going to sit this aside and let it dry. And we'll see what happens. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so good morning. Um, yep, it's morning again. I let this sit overnight. Okay, and here's what it looks like on this. But then I can sit it and it sits flat. It doesn't 
tip like it was going to, you know, like it was. So, you know, does it look great? Eh, it looks all right, but hey, it works. And, you know, this way I have a little bit of a memory from, you know, my roses and it's really cool. I enjoy doing this. So I hope it gives you a little spark of inspiration. Resin is not really that difficult. Um, the biggest thing is making sure you have equal parts of A and B and that's about it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little experiment with me and you never know what's coming next. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.